What's up YouTube, John, JDS Outdoors. In today's video, we're taking a break from working on the Ranger, and we're gonna build an e-bike. I figured I'd hop on the bandwagon of uh, electric bikes, and being that my best producing videos are my power box videos, I figured why not build an electric bike? So let's take a look at what we're working with here. Here we have a 2019 Specialized Rock Hopper mountain bike. Got 29 inch tires on it. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. Aluminum frame. It's got the flat black paint job. Just a pretty sweet looking bike. Pretty comfortable to ride, but man, am I out of shape. I haven't ridden a bike in years. So I figured this would be kind of fun. Now, the motor we got is this Buffang. It depends on where you're from and how you say it. I've heard it in many other, said many other ways, but it's the mid-motor e-bike kit. And inside this kit, we have Got a new set of cranks, a new, uh, I believe this is a 44 tooth sprocket, some random hardware for attaching the motor. These are my brake sensors, specifically for hydraulic brakes. We got the mid mount this is a 750 watt motor some more wiring wiring little headlight that comes with for free as a gift oh yay and i believe this should be the display that mounts to the handlebars Yep, the display and the on-off button and all that fun stuff. Inside I have the battery charging, but here is the plate, the battery plate. I got a 48 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery, lithium battery, to mount on the down tube here. So I've never really worked on bikes before, other than changing tires. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And the first step in this is we're going to have to remove the cranks and the, the bottom axle, whatever you want to call it, from the bottom bracket. Essentially make the bottom bracket empty. So, with the help of this set of tools here, I'm going to get to work. Start taking that apart. So here we go. The first thing I did after turning the bike upside down is I removed the pedals and I removed the bolts that hold the crank in. And now I got to use a crank puller inside here to help pull the crank off of the bike. Got one off, one more to go using the crank puller. Works pretty easy, you just thread it in. And use the wrench to twist it in, push it on the shaft, and then the whole crank just pops right off. Pretty slick little setup there. Next step is we got to pull this out of the bottom bracket. It's held in by the special nut here inside that tool kit. Came with the socket to take it out. So, that is what we'll do. I don't remember one side's regular thread, the other side's reverse thread. I'll just figure out which one's which here in a second. Well, that's obviously tightening it. And that's loosening it. Finger tight, now we'll swap it to the reverse thread. We'll lose this 
ratchet, thread everything by hand. There we go. Now the whole setup comes out of the bottom bracket. Pretty nifty little uh, socket there. Now we can test fit the motor and see how that fits. All right, I went ahead and test fit the motor. I also went ahead and removed the derailleur and also the cables that control that. It's still attached to the handlebar, but we'll address that later. So there's how the motor sits. It's got just enough clearance on the cables. I don't know if you can see, but it fits in there nice and snug. So we're going to get the next parts, get this sucker bolted on. One important thing I learned is with this hardware kit, this piece right here, it goes on the bottom bracket and it bolts up to those two holes. If you can see, one side is indented and the other side is raised up. You want to make sure these raised up parts go against your bottom bracket like so. That way when you tighten down that nut, them teeth grab into your bottom bracket and helps to hold the motor and keep it from torquing too much and moving when it torques. So it's very important to do it that way. So we're going to go ahead and get this bolted up on here and continue on with this project. So now we got the motor mounted, the cranks installed, the pedals back installed, and everything snug down. Starting to run the wires for all the controls and sensors. Next step is to install this speed sensor on the back right in here and put the magnet on the rim so or on the spokes it appears that I'm probably going to need a little bit of a longer chain so that will be an upgrade we'll do very soon but I'm mean, going to go ahead and get that installed we can flip this bike over and start installing all the fun stuff on the handlebars maybe take this thing for a spin yet tonight we'll see well now I got the speed sensor mounted and the bike flipped over. Time to start mounting all the goodies on the handlebar there. That's the next step. So I went ahead and got all the stuff mounted on the handlebars. You got the on off button and your speed control. I took off the, uh, the derailleur shifter, mounted the screen and the display screen moved over this shifter and brake lever to make enough room to put the throttle so now we got throttle and then I cleaned up the wires a little bit went ahead and threw the battery on it just bolted to those uh, uh, what you call it the bottle brackets so I got that installed and clean up the wires the best I could. There's a little bit of extra wire from the handlebar wire harness. But, that's how she's looking. I did notice that I'm probably going to have to get another chain. So I ordered one. Because that chain is a little short now. Go over here. The derailleur sits a little too far forward. So I went ahead and ordered another chain for it. I did buy a cheap one at Walmart just to help hold me over until that one shows up. Hope it works because that setup there is, just isn't going to work. So, yeah, overall it's pretty much pretty much done. We'll go take it outside here shortly and see how it works. So we have the bike outside. Getting little first impressions on it. 
pretty sharp looking setup, I think. And overall, this kit, this buffeting kit, 750 watt off of Amazon, 17 and a half amp hour battery, 48 volt. Uh, it was pretty easy to work with. I did make a few rookie mistakes on like installing the chain i messed that up that was my fault but i'm not a bike mechanic just a guy who works on random stuff but this kit was super easy to use so let's uh let's turn it on here see what it looks like so it's got five different modes for uh, your pedal assist and also your throttle right here so you can just you can have it on pedal assist or you can throttle through it and ride it around kind of like a scooter so let's take it for uh, a quick spin and run the yard and see how it does all right i'm gonna try my best to keep this as steady as possible and also ride just in the grass here right now no pedal assist rolling around pretty easy we'll put it on pedal assist one holy crap takes off pretty good makes it a lot easier to pedal I'm sure that's blurry as hell Man, that makes a world of a difference. Can't wait to get this out on the road. Take it for a real spin. Yeah, definitely worth it. Fun, easy build. Gonna get a lot of miles put on it. It's even got the odometer. Right now I got two miles on it. Just putzing around the yard. So, yeah, cool. My first e-bike. Probably my only e-bike I'll do. Unless my wife wants one. But good times. So, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Whatever you guys want to do. And uh, as always, thanks for watching JDS Outdoors. And if you made it this far in the video, I'm sure you want to know how much that bike costs. So, start to finish. Started off with this 2019 Specialized Rock Hopper mountain bike, 29 inch tires, hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, I picked it up at a local bike shop. Tax and all that stuff, I think it was like 850 or so, give or take 20 bucks. The kit on Amazon delivered to my door with the battery was 1,050. So that puts us at 1,900 bucks. Can't buy a, a quality e-bike for that. My local bike shop wanted sixty-seven hundred dollars for a good one, and they wanted forty-five hundred dollars for a entry level. But bonus clip for you: nineteen hundred dollar e-bike. Thanks for watching.